good within the camp and can you also bring us up to date with how Thiago is has he trained is he fully fit to play and has Fabinho come through this week of training as well without any problems and is he match ready mood is good very good I'm really excited about being here now um, getting a feeling for a stadium for a location and yes that's all good and um, yeah it looks good for both uh, Thiago um, Fabinho trained completely normal Thiago trained yesterday with the team will train today and then we go from there okay, one in the middle please in the white shirt Hi, uh, Jürgen. Uh, Aram Sayak, I'm from Vivaro Media Armenia. Uh, tomorrow you have the chance to win Champions League with Liverpool for the second time. Uh, will this victory uh, be sweeter and more special than the one in 2019 because of the team you are facing tomorrow, the most decorated team in this competition, Real Madrid? I have no idea how it will feel if we win it. To be honest, um, you have to ask me that question after the game. Um, in the moment, we are more in the mood to prepare that we can give them a, a real game, a proper fight. Um, yes, you're right. It's the most decorated club. It's a team where some players can win in the fifth time. It's a team where the manager can win in the fourth time. <laughs> it all says a lot, obviously. So um, we cannot buy this experience now or get it overnight. The only thing I can say, we um, we feel... We have not the same experience, but we experience meanwhile as well. We are here the third time in five years. That's special as well. Um, so, no, the only thing we are thinking about is how to prepare the game, how to play the game, and these kind of things. I didn't think for a second how it would feel if, because I'm, I'm uh, patient enough to wait for that moment and tell you then. Okay, right behind. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Jürgen. Hi. Uh, Fred Caldera, TNT Sports Brazil. Um, I know you have been answering a lot of questions about the revenge. And um, when you hear the other boys, it seems to be quite specific for Mo, the, the, at least the intensity of it, of, of how he feels for this game, and how you as a manager make sure that it helps him to play even better instead of being in his way, as in taking over too much this field. Nobody has to worry about more and that he takes too much. It's completely normal. It's, it, for him, it was a very special situation. We all lost that day, the day. But um, he got injured early in the game. He was, his, his boss, he's now in a very good shape. He was then in a very good shape. So obviously, it feels for him different. You ask him, that's a normal feeling. We all get motivated by different things. It's not that um, we have, I have here 26, 27 players and they all get motivated by different things. It's completely fine. It, and I have no problem with that. The only thing is if that's the only motive, but it's not a case in most, in most cases, that's the only uh, motivation he has. But it's normal that he wants to put the things right. We want to put things right. We want to, um, um, we, don't, we didn't forget what happened that time, but it's just a while ago and we cannot not come here and um, I, tomorrow I show the movie of that game and that, that's enough motivation for the game. That makes no sense. Um, we have so many reasons that we give our absolute everything tomorrow night and this might be one reason, but not the reason. That's it. Here in the middle, please. Yeah. Hi. Yeah, uh, Jürgen, um, Ian Layden from the Daily Mail. Um, the pitch is new. Um, <laughs> even from the press box, it looks a bit fresh and a bit lush. Um, you have any concerns about that? And in particular, do you feel that you'll be able to let the players train freely on it um, this evening? Oh, it, it, yeah. Um, usually when you say the pitch looks new, that's good news because of uh, the pitches. This pitch is new since yesterday. <laughs> That's um, obviously not best news, uh, but, but for both teams. I have no idea how it will be now out there on the pitch, but we will do a completely normal session, what we planned um, to do. It's not a lot, obviously, in a, in a moment in time, of this, uh, a moment of the season. Um, I saw the refs a bit with their session. That the good news is the ball drops normal. That's helpful. Um, and you can see the, the lines where they put the different pieces of the pitch in. That's obviously not probably what we are all used to. But again, that's not, not a problem because the good news is both teams play on this pitch. Um, 
that somebody thought it's a good idea to bring the pitch a day before the game into, <laughs> into the stadium. That's a, an interesting idea, to be honest. But it's like it is, and it will not. It, it kill, didn't kill my mood for a percent. Um, I'm really happy that we are here, and we would have played on beton. If you ask me, so that's that's fine. Now we are here and we play the game, and that's it. As long as both teams have the same um, circumstances, I'm fine with it. Okay, the gentleman in the white shirt, please. Hello, coach. Uh, Karim Balde for TV5 Monde Afrique. Uh, I have two questions. The first one about Sadio Mane. Uh, can you tell us his mindset prior to this final? Um, because we heard some rumors about sending him to, um, to Bayern München. And uh, he has a very long season with the Afghan and uh, with the World Cup qualifiers as well. So what is his mindset prior to this final? And my second question is about Naby Keita, because he has uh, a very consistent season for the first time, I think, since he arrived in Liverpool, because there were no in major injury for him this season. So what is your view on Naby Keita's season? Thank you. So... Um Sadio is in the shape of his life, for sure. He's um, in a brilliant shape. Um, it's a joy to watch him in the moment, training in the game. Um, we ask him a lot. Football asks him a lot this year. An incredible long season. Uh, a lot of finals um, and these kind of things. So that's, for sure, so far one of the most successful as well for him and for us. Um, the Bayern Munich Euromas, I, I, I couldn't care less in a moment we are all, all fully focused on this game um, um, Sadio is completely focused on the game he knows exactly how important it is to him and how important it is to us and um, so no concerns completely normal it's not the first time in my career that before decisive games Bayern Munich rumors coming up I don't know exactly uh, why what I did that, that happens um, but um, no problem at all um, Navi yeah Navi right he How it is for all of us, especially for players more than for me, it's important that we can train consistently and play consistently. Um, that's possible when you're not injured. And that's what happened to Nabi this year. He's in a perfect age. He's more, got more and more experience. After the adaptation, from the beginning, when Sadio came here, it was all, that's the normal period when you arrive at Liverpool or when you arrive in my team that you usually need time to adapt. In this area, especially in midfield, Fabinho needed that time and these kind of things. The problem was when, when after Nabi adapted, he got injured. So, that, or in that time already, and that's not helpful. Though now he's uh, as well in the shape of his life, I would say. Um, really good, played a really good season for us, incredibly important player. So, um, that's it. Right here, the gentleman, yeah, in the jacket. Uh, hello, Jürgen. It's John Cross from the Daily Mirror. I was just going to ask you uh, again about the pitch, if I may. Does that potentially affect the game as a spectacle? And does that even matter just as long as you win? And I just wonder, what, what does this... What, what would success, what would lifting the trophy mean for further success for this incredible group of players? Oh, a completely different question. I'll start with the uh, pitch. I think both teams are... Technical teams, so, and you would wish in a dream world, a dreamland, that um, the pitch is the best you ever saw in your life. That's obviously not the case. I'm not sure, was Real Madrid already here? Did they train already no. or will they train after us? Afterwards. Ah, yeah. We'll hear the same from Carlo. So, yes, and definitely if you win, then you don't care about the pitch. That's easy to say. Um, I have no. I don't know how bad it is, to be honest, or how good it is, because I only saw it. Now let's have to say, and the, the, the referees were training on it. I saw the ball bouncing. That's good news. And now um, we will go on it. Maybe it's fine. It's it's perfect. That looks not perfect. We will see that. Um, that's it. If you want to make, I, I hope nobody made now a story of a club this morning about a pitch because I'm not. I could it's fine. But it's not <laughs> when you see it. I think, yeah, it could look different. Um, but um, let's get a feeling for it. And that's very important today. Usually, this uh, kind of sessions are more for uh, media um, because you want us to be here. We have to be here. The UEFA tells us to be here. Today, I'm really happy that we are here because we can now feel it and, and, uh, and can um, pass a few balls on that. And we'll see. But uh, what was the third part? 
Oh yeah, a lot, a lot, of course. But that's now that's that's the world of sports. That's the world we are living in. Um, we get judged by the final result. I think um, if you are a football person, um, then you know what the what my boys did so far this season is absolutely exceptional. Um, but of course, in the end, it's all measured by the, the the color of the medal you get after a game. That's how it is, and we we, we are fine with that. We we are ready for that. Um, but um, history will tell us what people say about us um, because of these kind of games. I'm more than happy and very proud of what we did so far. Pretty special. Pretty special. A lot of games, a lot of finals, a lot of tight, close decisions um, like penalty shootouts, stuff like this. There might be people out there that think it's a, you know, only one in penalty shootouts. Believe me, after 120 minutes playing Chelsea and then being ready still for the penalty shootout is one of the most difficult things you can imagine. Um, and yeah, no, um, from my point of view, I will, I will feel better if we win the game, definitely, much better. Um, and that's in the moment the only thing I'm concerned about, how can we make sure that that will happen? Okay, one here, please. Servus, Herr Klopp, Florian Blattenberg von Sky Germany. Ganz einfache Frage zum Start. Wer ist eigentlich Favorit? Bitte nicht auf Deutsch, weil wir keine Übersetzung okay, haben auf Deutsch. One more in English. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Klopp. My name is Florian from Sky <laughs> Germany. <laughs> so now it's French, please. <laughs> no, no. Uh, yeah, I've improved my French skills today, so... What room is your club? <laughs> First question. Who's the favorite in this match? Easy question. Second question. Easy question. Okay. Yeah, second question is about Mane. As you can imagine, um, would he be a big, big thing for the Bundesliga and for Bayern Munich? And is he the compensation that you get, Thiago, from Bayern Munich years ago? <laughs> uh, very prepared to ask a question in German and they would have said it's not allowed. Um, so... Um, what was the question? <laughs> yeah, no, honestly, I, I, I forgot the beginning. Ah, favorite. Yeah. And you said easy question. So I cannot see that as an easy question because I don't have an easy answer. I don't know. So from if you look at the history of the club, if you look at the experience of the other team, if you look about the, the, the way Real Madrid uh, celebrated pretty much comebacks, had comebacks in the games, crazy. Um, then I would say, from my point of view, um, it's Real Madrid because we experience. But actually, I want us to be on the same level, these kind of things, thinking us on the same level, um, want to be us in this game, being completely ourselves. And if we are on the top of our game, we are difficult to play. We are really difficult to play then. That's my only, my only concern at the moment. Um, that we do that, that we be ourselves, that we be really confident as well. But of course, uh, the confidence level of the Madrid players is incredibly high. And it's an important part in football to be confident and sure about yourself and these kind of things. So, favorite, I don't know, I couldn't care less. Um, and then it was, then we started already talking about Sadio, right? And this is the wrong moment to speak about that. So, I said it before. So, um, wherever Sadio will play next season, he will be a big player. Definitely. One here in the front, please. Hi, Jürgen. Joe Prince, right from NBC. Um, we often talk about the 2018 final as the reference point uh, for this team, reaching a Champions League final for the first time under you. What, in the last four years, have you seen change and develop in your team? What are you most proud of? And how will that hold you instead for tomorrow night's game? Look in the world out there, you have to be, be all, whatever you do, you have to gain experience. Eh? So on the first day when you do a job the first time, it's not that you say, oh my God, it was the best day in my life and I knew everything what I had to do. Uh, but then from there you go and then maybe you have your first little successes here, little things you achieve there and all these kind of things. And all of a sudden you are on a big stage and you have to deliver. We deliver that night by the circumstances hit us. So that's how it is. And we couldn't react. And we couldn't react because it was a long season as well, that that time, when we arrived pretty much on three wheels. Um, and um, 
I think we didn't have a full bench. If I'm 100% sure, maybe we, we, we couldn't fill the bench completely. Don't know that anymore. But players came back from injuries. Key players came back from injuries. And then what happened? Who knows what happened? And the goals we conceded happened. Our goalie had a concussion. We should not. I know nobody thinks about that, but he had a concussion. It was proven afterwards, not during. Um, and so things happened. Um, uh, so it was important. And you have to learn to win. We have to. And nobody can wait for that. No, everybody tells you, no, you have to do it now, you have to do it now. But I said a couple of times, um, I had to learn it the hard way, really hard way. I lost a lot of finals in my life, and um, thankfully the last few we could win, and um, we all had to learn that, and this team learned it. Um, the problem what we have now, we, f we face a team who never lost the final. So... Um, it was once in my life that somebody told me the more often you win something, the more likely it gets that you will not win it anymore. <laughs> I'm not sure Real Madrid thinks like that, but I have that dream a little bit um, that it's the case. And um, yeah, so we just, uh, the, boy, the boys um, developed in the last few years enormously. The club is in a good place. Um, Everybody is connected, all these kind of things. Uh, we know we are, we are, we were part of a big club, of a massive club. Um, and meanwhile, we are, the boys are exactly the right players for this big club. That I think people saw that slightly different when I arrived. And so, we had a good moment and we are ready for this final. And 18 was important, but 19 was more important. So, let's see what we can do. Okay, one more here in the front. Hello, coach. Baba Karandaufai, Imeja in Senegal. Uh, we heard you in a recent interview saying that you had forgotten Sadio Mane among the potential candidates of uh, the Ballon d'Or. Uh, do you think this final can decide, decide uh, the Ballon d'Or holder for him, who won the last African Cup of Nations, in addition to what you have achieved at uh, Liverpool? When you think about how these kind of um, competitions are won, then probably yes. You are either Ronaldo, Messi, or you won the Champions League final. I think that's the way you do it. <laughs> that's how it was in the last few years or not. Um, so yes, it will increase the chance, definitely. Uh, the gentleman in the pink polo, please. <laughs> Uh, Walid Al Hadidi from Monosport FM, Egypt and Dan Arquait. Um, you always call yourself uh, the normal one, uh, and all others do, and even your famous mug do. Uh, so, uh, in tomorrow's match against Real Madrid, you think uh, the normal way of Liverpool, as we saw all over the season, uh, enough to uh, win this match, or you need to make something abnormal or uh, surprise in the match in the lineup or uh, the way of uh, playing? It's not. It's not that. So, if I would do now something surprising for my players, for example, then they could imagine. Then they could think I'm nervous. If I come now, oh, then a rabbit out of the head or whatever these kind of things. And to to, um, I believe when you do the right stuff all the time, then it's the right thing to do in the final as well. But it has to be on the highest level possible. So we obviously played some really, really good stuff this season. We are not here by surprise or we got a ticket or something like that. We deserved it as well. And um, so being us on the highest level would be cool if we could do that. Because then we are really, how is that? Then we are really uncomfortable opponent, a real uncomfortable opponent. That's what we have to be. How is that? We can talk about what, the, what, what Real Madrid achieved in the past and this season. How good their players are, we can. We probably could write a book together now about this team. But um, we are good as well. And that's what we want to show. We'll take one last question online, uh, which comes from Christian Kamp from the Frankfurter, Zeit, Frankfurter Allgemeine Zeitung. Let's see if this works. About Eintracht Frankfurt then. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, it works. In English, please. Okay. 
Great, wonderful. Um, not asking about Eintracht Frankfurt, but going back to Kiev as everybody else. Sorry to disappoint you. <laughs> Uh, but uh, not talking about the the final itself, but talking about the circumstances you played and what happened to Kiev since, and now playing in uh, in a final that should have been taken place in Saint Petersburg in Russia. Is there any space in your mind uh, that has thoughts about this, or is it just, is, is it just uh, concentrating completely on football? Like, does this game have any special significance beyond football? You could say. Until you ask me now, I was only concerned about the game. To be 100% honest, I sit in a press conference. Um, I'm not sure if you expect from me now a political message. Um, I, I was, to be honest, I have no none. It's we, I'm, uh, we are, I'm happy that the game is here um, for thousands of reasons. And... Um, Yeah, it's really strange for now. That's how we can kill them all. It's fine. It's fine. The, 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 the war is still going on. You're right. Um, and we have to think about that. And um, let's see like this, that the game still happens and is not in St. Petersburg. Maybe it's exactly the right message what Russia should get. Um, life goes on even when you try to destroy it. So, and um, we play this final for all the people, not only, but as well for all the people in the Ukraine. I'm pretty sure um, there are some who have, who can watch it, and we do it for you as well, 100%. Thank you very much. This concludes the press conference, and we go over to the 